Hey guys. Hey guys. We are in the land of neon pink, green, and uh, red and orange guitars. That is Jackson. All right. Uh, so start holding some guitars, Peter. So new for 2017 is a is a new and improved Jackson lineup where every single guitar now has uh, super duper new compound radiuses right down to the JS series, graphite reinforced truss rods, new upgraded pickups, new models, new colors, all kinds of stuff. So we are just going to pan round. This, for example, is a JS series dinky, which will be an affordable kind of dinky in. Check that out, I man. like that Look color, that color. That's neon amazing. orange. That's amazing. That I would literally mental. have that guitar, and I'm not that kind of guy. That's because John Mayer played it, something similar, like a pink That's why it would happen, recently, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, what else have we got here? So the JS series, which, which is super, super popular. These are all the kind of like three, four hundred pound Jacksons. In fact, a lot of these come down even lower than that. Um, That's amazing. Very cool. Dinky shapes, roads, shapes, Vs. What's your favorite one so seven far, Pete? Seven and eight strings. Seven and eight strings. Oh. And telly. Eight, seven string telly. I like these here, those Super Strats ones. This is kind of the one, one that... Uh, is this a seven? Yeah, seven. seven. string Telecaster style Jackson. What, that kind of looks like the one that... Uh, that looks played, a lot like the with, John Mayer. With the shark um, teeth. So that's X series where you're going yeah. up to the sort of Duncan design pickups. About 800, 900 US Yeah, dollars. something like that. Yeah. Um, most of the dollar prices and the pound prices are about the same now to be honest. Yeah. There's not yeah. a big difference. Um, we've got Kelly's... Uh, Kind of Kelly's a shape that kind of, I think, sort of went out of fashion for a bit, but it's like kind of cool again now, isn't it? Um, like what else have we got there. here? We, got we, we should do this like as Facebook Live, and then you could say, "Yeah, that's the one I like." And Check then we that one out. That's oh, a fan fret one. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Seven string. Is that your new signature model, Pete? Yeah. That was literally made for you, wasn't it? That was made for me. They put the pickups in one. But you remember we did that video, Mick and I did a video on the Fanford uh, Ibanez guitars, but still, we thought we would never be able to play them. But actually, it was really easy to play, completely intuitive. Yeah. And, you know, I've seen it. People should have one in their collection. No, I agree. I I mean, Jimmy, the number of times I remember Jimi Hendrix saying, you know, (laughs) if only I'd had a a a (laughs) Fanford guitar, then I wouldn't have been so out of tune. Um, (laughs) Anyway. they're really cool, man. So, really yeah, nice. what else have we got here? Yeah, Randy nice. Rhodes with the sort of the, the, the different coloured bevels. They're um, nice. I like what do you think of, the What do you guys think of the new Monarch series from Jackson? This is, this, this is the sort of, this came out last NAM. Um, I don't know, does the world need another single cut? Uh, I guess it kind of does, doesn't it? But um, great value, really good value. Not yeah. that one in particular, but the, the, some of these go down. Where's the JS? Can't see one here. But anyway, let's go around the corner. This way here. There's some basses. 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 Let's show the bass players some love. Yeah, let's do that. Rick Savage from Def Leppard. I always thought Rick Savage was the drummer in Def Leppard. What was his name? Oh, God. Can't remember. I can't remember. Anyway, obviously not Rick Savage. No. Um, It's actually, in fact, there's loads of new artist signature models in the Jackson range this year, which we will get onto. You'll be pleased to know, you'll be excited to know there's some some new low price uh, or lower price Misha Mansours. Yeah. Um, Pekka Johansson. That's Scarlett's brother, um, and uh, <laughs> apparently he might not be, uh, but he's got again like some sort of what is that like Kelly inspired sort of yeah. Thunderbirdy. Yeah, is these that are what very he's affordable playing? as well, aren't they? They start about three hundred and thirty dollars. So the same. That, isn't it? It's a lot of guitar for that kind absolutely, of dough. Absolutely, absolutely. Let's go around this let's side. Go this way. Let's. let's t- we forgot to go over there and the, the Wolfgang stats. Well, we'll, we'll do that in a minute. Uh, minute. Oh, here's some more um, flamey tops and some more. So, <laughs> Excuse me, something's <laughs> just fallen out of... Uh, <laughs> the back of the <laughs> <laughs> So, what have we got here? Pro, we're into Pro Series, okay? So, Pro Series is, is kind of, I think, where some of the good stuff starts to happen. So, you'll, you'll start to get your proper American branded pickups, yep. your proper hip shop branded hardware. Um, so, these are all going to start to creep... Uh, a little bit higher up the sort of thousand pound mark but again beautiful dinkies quilt tops yeah. natural ash finishes Ooh, it's oh it's got an atari ooh, button yeah press that's it see what ollie, happens that's ollie herbert press it and we'll overlay a really cool special effect <laughs> press the button don't press the button you know what i'm really digging i'm digging this orange um what's the headstock there this looks really cool man look at that like it's like a satin finished orange and it's got again it's the kill, it must be a kill switch. It's eight string. There's got, there's, yeah. I need one of these. You don't need an eight string. Of course I do. Oh. Everybody needs an eight string. 
So, where are we up to now? So this is all Pro Series. In fact, there's loads of new stuff here. Check that out. That looks good, man. Yeah. I like that. I love... I'm really loving it. It's maybe 2017 is the year of the sort of the matte finish. Watch this. Oh, I was going to try and do it one-handed then. Oh. <laughs> That's fine. You hold. Yeah. Again, seeing what I'm going to pick up. Just yeah. not sure what they are. Heavy use of things like JBs and 59s and Duncan distortions on Jackson guitars. So it could be one of those. But hip shot hip hardware. Shot. Yeah. Um, look at that. It's the soloist style neck. The satin finish. Is that a pull switch there? Is that a anywhere? No. No. Oh, that's all right though. That's cool. Who wants I a like single that. coil sound if you're going to play that? Oh, it's really nice and it's light a, it's, as it's well. Light. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm digging these uh, quality tops they've got here. The green and the purple one. They look great, don't they? That's a color. That, that is, is a, a color. color. Look at that. What is that purple, purpley ready? It's like a waffle. <laughs> It's a pink waffle <laughs> is the colour of this Jackson guitar. Oh my that is, god. That is tremendous. If you turn that over, the waffle, if you turn over the waffle, <laughs> you can see that, that little bit here. The scarf joint. Oh, yeah, no, but it's like, it's got a little, you know, I'm into the details, where it's kind of go to the satin finish and uh, yeah. that's really good. Good, good uh, up, fret, fret, up fret action. No. Cool. What else we got here oh, that looks funky? Some, uh, that's a nice finish. I like this. Do you like this? You like that sort of... Um, Ikea sort of it's, it's a bit Ikea-ish isn't it yeah. but in a good way yeah if you're in a sort of a Swedish death metal band you could have like a <laughs> Swedish core. flat pack furniture finished guitar no I actually like that I really like that actually That's it's, really a, it's, good. An, it's an ash clearly a, a veneer like a, a, veneer, a piece yeah. of uh, ash uh, beautiful really the nicely finished charcoal grey it's called you can always tell on these videos whether it's an early in the day or late in the day video as the late in the day ones tend to have more sarcasm and yeah, uh, but you know what? That's, that's commentary. Great. I think I think that's um, good. That's nice. What yeah. colour do you think they call that? I'm going to tell. If I'm not even. Oh, no, I'm you. looking at it. But what yeah, colour? I did, I did look at it. Ah. But, so you guess. What colour is this? Yeah. It's alien burst. It's alien burst. That okay, reminds so, me of the film. So it? we're into yeah. some of the new indoor seas now. Yep. Gus G. I met Gus once. Uh, really, really nice guy. Crazy fast player. Um, is obviously Ozzy Osbourne's guitar player. Or yep. uh, I don't, you know, I don't know if he's. I don't know because obviously Ozzy's doing the Sabbath thing again now, isn't yeah. he? So I'm not sure. But and also his own band, Firewind. You're going to see on the Jackson stand. There's actually quite a few new uh, artists uh, in the Jackson lineup. And the cool thing is, it, uh, the good, the really cool stuff is some of the artists who had mega expensive guitars in the past have now got more affordable guitars. Mm. Anyway, Gus G's a new artist for Jackson. Yeah. He's uh, where was he at? He was at ESP, I think, before, wasn't he? Anyway, he's no, he's no longer there. No. He's but at these, Jackson these now. Not... Uh, and so there are two. Like Super Pro N, these are probably the ones Gus uses. Yep. And then you've got a, an X Series one, and then right down to a JS Series one. Yeah. So if you're a Gus G fan, you're a Firewind fan, or an Aussie fan, and you just like Gus, yep. um, Gus is a really lovely guy. I'm sure if he's in the UK, he'll probably swing by and come if and you see are, us. At if the you show. watch this, Gus, come over and do a Captain Meet with us. That'll be great. Um, the, so, so this yeah. is a US, USA signature. USA that, custom. If you've got about loads of money, four and a half thousand pounds to spend. Uh, down to 500, 600 quid. It's good, man. They're like good. What is the shape of these? It's like um, a star shape. It's, but it's there is a Jackson. Explorer. There was like an original Jackson shape, either from the late 70s or 80s, called the Star. Okay. And well, that makes sense. It was kind of I their like take on the Explorer, but yeah. a little bit more star shaped. So that's what his really is cool. based on. Very, very cool. It's cool. Let's uh, go. This uh, is big news. This is big news. Our good friend Misha Mansour. Beautiful Misha, uh, lovely from lovely, Periphery lovely. and many other side projects. Yeah, um, this is quite exciting actually. So that was the original one. Yeah, uh, that Stunning. came out uh, two years ago maybe. Yeah, beautiful Laguna Burst, loads of other colours, lovely, lovely guitar, yeah. but kind Very of expensive. slightly unobtainable price for yeah. many people. Yeah. So now we've got Pro Series versions, hip shot stuff. Uh, what looks like the... I don't know if these are bare knuckle pickups on here. The Didn't he have the bare knuckles on these ones? These are bare knuckles. Yeah. I don't know what they've used well, on, they the, be, um, yeah. on the Pro Series ones. I doubt that these will be bare knuckles, but they price, might be. Are they bare knuckles? Replicas. Replicas of bare knuckles. Yeah. Um, Pro Series spec, but then also you've got a couple of slightly more affordable... Actually, these are all Pro Series specs, but the satin finish is slightly more affordable. Yeah. So if you're a Misha Mansur fan... And you have a thousand odd pounds to spare. Six fifty. Six fifty. Wow! You heard it here first. It's Gus. <laughs> Dude. Dude. 
good? I'm good. Hi, man. How you doing, man? Okay, nice to meet you. Oh, can we have like two seconds then? Absolutely, yeah. Oh, man. One, two. Brilliant. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. That's good. Go on. Have a mic. I'll have that mic. So, you're a Jackson guy now. I am, yeah. How long have you been working with them for? It's the past six months. Awesome, man. So, yeah. And how's the band? Touring much? Yeah, I've been touring. I've been doing some solo stuff. And I just actually have a new Firewind album after five years. Has it really been five yeah, years? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I think it's been probably five years since you were on our Anderson's. channel. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Five years, yeah. It was 2012, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, that was the last tour. And now we, we got the new album coming out on Friday. And then started a tour, support that. And then obviously the new guitars. Is that any dates in the UK? Yes, six actually. Oh, fantastic. So yeah, February 15 starts in Glasgow. And then go down south to obviously London, Southampton, where's Manchester. And, oh, well, look. and I don't remember the other ones. Well, look, if you're anywhere London based and you want to come back on and. I would love to. Oh, man. We'll have to be in you're a legend. Good luck with this as well. Thank I you. I love very this much. guitar. Thank you. Awesome. Hey? Look at it's that. It's all happening here. It happens. It's um, happening. So, Marty Friedman, this, I don't know a lot Rob's about Marty guitar, Friedman, but Rob Chapman, he's like, this is his god or yeah. one of them. No. Um, he's got a signature series guitar and for fans on a. On a, budget. A, a, a much more reasonable budget. He's got an X series guitar. Yeah, that's now. cool, man. I'm not even going to guess at these prices now because they're so much lower than the Six dollar three prices. Nine. Six, Six three, three nine. Wow. And that's based. Looks like the Monarch series. You know, they get well, a lot of guitar for your money. That's pretty heavy. Is it? EMG pickups. It looks like it's got that. Um, I never remember the numbers, but the, the sort of the more dynamic set. Is it the 60 and the 61 or something like that? Something like you that. guys will know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, My goodness. Then we are into Definitely. Phil Collins. I tell you, <laughs> I've got all his albums. Do 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 do. No, the other Phil Collins. Yeah. Um, oh, they look great, man. They're, honestly, it, I really, really like these guitars. Reminds this was me a little go bit. on. Sorry, no, no, no. no, no you no, go. No, no, no. Oh, no, you you know, it just reminds me a little bit of a guitar that uh, I've seen. Reminds you of a reminds guitar that you've seen. A guy that has got a guitar, a second guitar, that looks a bit like that one. <laughs> Oh, Guthrie. Well, that's so cool. It's all the same brand, isn't it? Jackson and Charvel. But Exactly. Yeah, I'm, I remember actually playing. These have been in the, in the Jackson catalogue. Actually, do you know what? Now you've got me thinking. Didn't it used to be a, a Charvel, the Phil Collin model? Maybe it did. You got me thinking. Anyway, these have been in the catalogue. Ja uh, Phil's been uh, a Jackson and Charvel guy for, forever and ever and ever. That's lovely. Um, it's just basically got some new finishes by the looks of things. That is lovely. Yeah. Beautiful baked maple or roasted maple kind of fretboard. It looks great, doesn't it? It nice does look cool. Humbuggers there, the front as well. Ah, uh, he's a proper guitar player. Yeah, a proper good. guitar player from a proper rock band. That's it. Um, and here we go. We should all, you know, little shrine yeah. to the legend. Randy. That was Randy Rhodes. Yeah. Uh, what have we got that's new here by the looks of things? A Pro Series. Pro, all Pro Series. Yeah. Just Some new finishes. Rose going on here. Uh, it's a cool, it's a cool guitar. Cool looking guitar. So I like. That. I like. I don't. Or do I like? Do you like the mirrored scratch plate? I, I actually got to say, I actually like the mirrored scratch plate. Let's, I, let's I, hold I like this up it. here. Is that so that you can vainly look at yourself so, whilst uh, playing guitar? Yeah, exactly. Blue steel. <laughs> right. So now, now Lee. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about buying a super strat. I can't, see, I can't, I, you've, you've said this before. I know, and I've said it before. But what and for? Just, just because I would like to have a guitar that is really fast to play with a Floyd Rose. And the ones I've been looking at, it's definitely the Chavels. Have I got I still, No, 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 I still don't. <laughs> have you got a side project going on that you haven't told me about? Speedy Pete. It's <laughs> Speedy Pete. Speedy Pete. Speedy Pete's <laughs> Danish metal band. No, it's not going to be. I was just. I just would like okay. to try to get into play that sort of thing. And value for money-wise, I think you simply cannot beat these things. Right. Well, look, anything that says new on it is new. Yeah. So, so by the looks of things, all the stuff back here is last year's, you know, catalogue. is new. So we have got... Uh, we've got new pro mods. What do I know about these? These are like new finishes to me. Oh, I don't know. It's a different a shape. Telly. It's a different shape. Look. It's a telly. It's, it's a single thing. cut. Yeah. Ooh. With seven strings on it. Oh yeah. And, well, a, and a hip shot again. That's very interesting. Because you got the you got a, uh, the single cut with a Floyd Rose system on it. I can't decide. It might appeal to some people. Do I like? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm frightened. <laughs> I'm frightened. That's not coming out. That one. That is not. I'm, Take not, the even, next one I'm over. not even risking it. Take the next one. Hang over. On, let me just slide that back. And as uh, 
did you see it in the, the Schecter stand where I nearly knocked the entire wall over earlier on? Uh, let's try this one. This is coming out. Is, the, so is that Rosewood then? We were just asking. Yeah. Okay. We're not going, going to that whole Rosewood thing. We'll see what happens with that. Um, but that looks really cool. I, I don't like know. With the a Telecaster shape. You're probably right. You're probably right. It's probably me just being stuck in my ways. But I always think of a Super Strat as a Super Strat. Yeah, it's not, not a Super, a super telly, Telecaster. But I've never seen the Telecaster. Maybe, the that's what, maybe that's what the world needs. Maybe that's the new genre. It's the Super Telecaster. It's the Super Telly. It does look nice in that. I'll, it's a cool looking guitar. This is good. That looks nice. In the red. So what do these kind of start from? 769, so they're kind of similar sort of money to the Strats, a little bit dearer than the Strats. They're big lumps of wood, aren't they? Yeah. Check that out. We need, we need... It's not too, it's not too heavy. I like the colour. The colour's it's, good. It's like the Misha Mansur Laguna yeah, sort is. of thing, isn't it? Nice little bit of cutaway there for, nice. uh, for higher access. All this detail's coming off. Crafted in Mexico. They, they make... I, I, I actually am with you on that front. If I wanted a Super Strat that was tra like traditional, yeah. if there is such a thing as a traditional Super Strat, yeah. Pro Mod is really Absolutely. tough to beat, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Um, value for money wise. Absolutely. This color, we did a we, we bought some Jacksons in this color recently, and yeah. I really I really thought to myself, is this have I you know slipped up here is, is this and and they sold out in like they two went days. immediately didn't they yeah. it was the most popular one yeah I what like do it. i know red it's back red is back matt red is back once you go matt red this once you go matt um <laughs> okay new guthrie has a new guitar oh, okay. and he did actually tell me what was new about it when i spoke to him the other day and i've forgotten i don't think it's anything massive so we're just looking it up for you it's uh, a roasted, uh, roasted maple uh, neck, but now with a roasted ash body. Oh. I'm not sure what happens when you roast ash. <laughs> I mean, I've, I guess Wow, it's... that's light, man. Feel that. Oh. Oh, that's good, isn't it? So this he is the thing we've had. Do It's light guitars. Are they, are they better toned? I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, thing I'm, gonna I'm just going to say, they're, and this isn't... I'm not tarring all artists with this brush, but there are some artists that like to have very little to do with the spec of their guitar and they'll kind of go yeah look you, you you design it for me and I'll just choose the color and there are other artists like Guthrie who want to have everything how they want it no matter how much it annoys the designers at the company <laughs> and and Guthrie so this is just such a stellar instrument it really is from literally guitar. this end pin here to the very tip of its headstock everything Guthrie will have wanted to be perfect for yeah. him so that's very cool i do like that guitar yeah. that's one of those guitars where i actually go i know they're really expensive but it is worth it yeah yeah, yeah um, definitely warren de martini i don't think any of this is new these are all the crazy finishes from yeah. last year we got up there joe duplantier 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 i don't know if that's how you pronounce his I'm name not sure. or not um but it and was, uh, oh, jakey finished. lee that was last year as well actually that may have been even the year before but yeah anyway Lovely. So, I know that was rapid, but it's, as you can see, crazy busy in here crazy now. Busy. I'm Lovely. glad we got to meet Gus, though. That was yeah, cool. Yeah, that was great, man. That was um, good. So, that's it. We'll go and find some more guitars, maybe have a beer, and uh, see. see you on the morrow. On the morrow. Bye. <laughs>